Hi everyone, so we're going to do a tutorial on formatting to two decimal places um, and this is particularly useful when you're dealing with currencies. Um, so we've got a program which allows us to enter um, an order total and then a discount code. It will calculate the discount and then we're going to look at how we might format that to two decimal places. So let's say we've got an order total of £9.99 and we've got this discount code called welcome. Oh, do you have a discount code? Yes. Um, the discount code is welcome. And it tells us that our order total is now £8.49. Um, but there's also um, this extra 1.5 here because when you apply a discount code, it's probably going to have some, uh, well, the number might not be formatted to two decimal places. So the best way to do that is using a placeholder. Um, and I'll show you that first and then we'll talk through the whole program path. So this is where our order total is um, outputted. Um, so it says here your order total is pound sign and we're casting the total to a string. But instead of casting the total to a string, what we can do is we can add a placeholder here and the placeholder is going to be a float. Um, so that's why there's an F and it's going to be to two significant figures. So we're going to put dot two, yeah? And that will um, automatically cast your total to a float, which is two significant figures. And then this percent sign is a, a placeholder when it's used in a string. So we're going to add our placeholder and we're going to drop back in our total. So this will take our total and format it to two decimal places. Uh, I'll just backspace that so that it's next to the currency sign. We'll run it and then I'll talk about the whole program because some of you might just be here for the um, formatting two significant figures. So the order total, once again, we're going to go £9.99. We do have a discount code and uh, we're going to say it's welcome. And notice that this time it's formatted it beautifully to 8.49. This will work even if you've got a value that is uh, not already um, two significant figures. So if you've got nine and you've got a discount code, uh, we say no, it will then output 9.00. It won't just give you nine or 9.0, which doesn't look right. It'll format it properly. Uh, if you want to know how the whole program works, then carry on watching. If not, I hope that's uh, useful for formatting to two decimal places. So how does the program work then? We've got a uh, 2D list at the top called discounts. And um, in here, you've got different discount codes. Summer 10 is 10% discount. Welcome is 15%. And refer 20 is 20%. And we're looking at the default value, which is going to be um, zero. So 0% 0 discount is the default. We asked them for an order total, and we're going to take that as a float. The reason why is because with most prices, there might be decimals in there, there might be pennies or cents um, or whatever the subcurrency is. We've added our pound sign. We ask them for a discount code. Um, yeah, so before I say that, if we had an integer here, it wouldn't work. Like if you have an int and then you enter a decimal value into your program, it'll give you an error. So let's say you put a £9.99 now, it's going to give you an error. So that's why we, we know that it's probably going to be float, so we might as well cast it to a float. We ask them, do they have a discount code? Now they might say yes with a capital Y or a lowercase, so we're just going to cast it all to lowercase. If their discount in is equal to yes, we then ask them for a discount code. If they say no or anything else, actually it just jumps down to here, right? And it's just going to give us our total minus a 0% discount. Um, after that, you've got, um, you ask them for the discount code. We automatically assume that the discount code is invalid. We then use a for loop to loop through our discount 2D list. And we're checking if their discount code here is equal to the position 0 on each sublist. So this is each sublist. That's the first one. That's going to be zero. That's going to be one. And that's going to be two. And then the sublist is looking at this here, summer 10, welcome, refer 20. So if their discount code matches any of those, then 
you want to pull across the correct discount code. So the discount is equal to, I'm just going to space it out so it's easier to read. The discount is equal to position one. So if they enter refer to entity, then the discount code is 0.2. Valid is equal to true. So we tell them that the discount code is valid. If at the end of this for loop, it's searched through all the discount codes and it's not found, then it's going to say invalid discount code. So I'll show you that very quickly. So let's say, for example, we enter a amount, we say yes, and we enter a discount code and we try and make one up like 50 off. It's going to say invalid discount code and still gives our total as £9.99. Um, the total is equal to the current total, so 9.99 minus our discount, which we're just multiplying the 20%, 15%, or 10% by our total. And then we're using this placeholder, using this percent sign within a string is a placeholder. Um, so it says your total is pound sign placeholder. So that means all of this needs um, to refer to our value that is denoted by the placeholder, which is total. The total gets placed into here, but and then it says it's a float, but it's got two decimal places. And that's how the whole program works. So if we're going to say uh, £99.90, do you have a discount code? Yes. And we're going to say refer to entity. Is that the one? Let's just check. Handy that we've got it here. In certainly, I casted this that even if we have this in like mixed cases, it'll still work. I think. Yeah. And it says your total is £79.92. I hope that's helpful. That is how you should format um, to two decimal places um, using Python.